Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into some super cool and surprising facts about electricity, the invisible force that powers our world. Let's get started with 10 fun and electrifying facts. One point electricity travels at the speed of light. Electricity is often said to travel at the speed of light, around 300,000 kilometers per second, 186,000 miles per second. And while that's mostly true, it's a bit more complex. In a wire, the electrons themselves move quite slowly, only a few millimeters per second. However, the electrical signal or energy that causes them to move travels incredibly fast, close to the speed of light. This happens because the electric field that pushes the electrons through the wire propagates almost instantly along the circuit. So, when you flip a light switch, the bulb lights up right away. Not because electrons zoomed from the switch to the bulb at light speed, but because the signal telling the electrons to move was transmitted nearly instantly. It's like tipping a line of dominoes. The effect travels fast, even though each domino moves just a little. That's how electricity flows quickly through our devices. Two, a single lightning bolt can carry up to one billion volts of electricity. A single lightning bolt is one of nature's most powerful displays of electricity, and it can carry up to one billion volts of electrical energy. That's an enormous amount of power, enough to theoretically supply electricity to a small town for an entire day. When lightning strikes, it rapidly discharges built-up static electricity between clouds or between a cloud and the ground. This sudden burst of energy heats the surrounding air to temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun, around 30,000 degrees Celsius or 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which causes the loud thunderclap we hear. While it releases a massive amount of energy, capturing and storing lightning's power is incredibly difficult due to its unpredictability, brief duration, and immense voltage. Still, the raw power of a lightning bolt reminds us of just how intense and fascinating natural electricity can be. 3. Electricity and magnetism are closely linked. Electricity and magnetism are deeply connected, so much so that they are considered two parts of the same force known as electromagnetism. When electric charges move, such as electrons flowing through a wire, they create a magnetic field around the wire. This fundamental relationship is the basis of how electric motors work. Inside a motor, electric current flows through coils of wire, generating magnetic fields that interact with magnets. This interaction produces motion, turning electrical energy into mechanical energy. That's how everything from fans and washing Machines to electric cars and power tools operate. Conversely, moving a magnet near a wire can also generate electricity, the principle behind electric generators. This incredible link between electricity and magnetism is what allows modern technology to function and is one of the most important discoveries in physics. 4. Static electricity can build up just from rubbing your socks on carpet. Static electricity is a common and often surprising phenomenon that many of us experience, especially in dry weather. It can build up just from simple actions like rubbing your socks on a carpet. What's happening is that electrons are being transferred from one surface to another. Your body picks up extra electrons and becomes negatively charged. When you touch a metal object or another person, those excess electrons suddenly jump off, creating a small shock. That spark you feel can be over 10,000 volts, which sounds dangerous. But it's not harmful because the current, the actual flow of electricity, is extremely low. Since it's the current, not the voltage, that determines how dangerous electricity is to the human body. This kind of static shock is generally harmless, though it might make you jump. It's a fascinating example of how electricity can build up in everyday life without any wires or batteries involved. Now let's go for number five. Some animals generate electricity. Some animals have evolved the incredible ability to generate electricity as a powerful survival tool. One of the most well-known is the electric eel, which can produce electric shocks of up to 600 volts, enough to stun or even kill smaller fish and other prey, making hunting much easier. These shocks are also used as a defense mechanism to ward off predators. The electric eel's body contains specialized cells called electrocytes, arranged like a series of tiny batteries stacked end to end. When the eel decides to release a shock, these electrocytes generate an electric current that flows through its body and into the water around it. 
Interestingly, electric eels don't rely solely on electricity for hunting. They also use low-voltage pulses to navigate and communicate in the murky waters where they live. This natural use of electricity shows how evolution has equipped some animals with amazing biological adaptations, combining physics and biology in ways that scientists continue to study and learn from. 6. Thomas Edison didn't invent electricity. Many people think Thomas Edison invented electricity, but that's not true. Electricity as a natural phenomenon has been studied for thousands of years, dating back to ancient Greece when philosophers like Thales of Miletus noticed that rubbing amber could attract light objects, an early observation of static electricity. Over centuries, scientists slowly uncovered more about electrical forces and how they work. Thomas Edison didn't discover electricity, but he played a huge role in improving and popularizing the electric light bulb, making it practical and affordable for everyday use. His work helped bring electricity into homes and cities, transforming the modern world by lighting up the night and powering countless inventions. So while Edison wasn't the inventor of electricity, he was a key figure in harnessing its power for everyday life. Now for number seven, LED bulbs use about 80% less energy. LED bulbs are a modern lighting breakthrough that use about 80% less energy than traditional incandescent bulbs. This means they convert much more electricity into light rather than wasting it as heat, making them far more efficient. On top of saving energy, LED bulbs also last much longer, often tens of thousands of hours compared to just a few thousand for incandescent bulbs. This longevity means fewer replacements, which saves money and reduces waste. Because they use less electricity, LED bulbs help lower electricity bills and reduce the environmental impact of power generation, making them a smart and eco-friendly choice for homes and businesses alike. Switching to LEDs is truly a bright idea for both your wallet and the planet. 8. The first city in the United States. The first city in the United States to be illuminated with electric. Streetlights was Cleveland, Ohio, back in 1879. This groundbreaking event marked a huge leap forward in technology and urban life. Before electric lighting, cities depended mostly on gas lamps or oil lanterns to light the streets at night, which were often dim, expensive to maintain, and pose fire hazards. The introduction of electric streetlights not only made streets much brighter and safer, reducing crime and accidents after dark, but also extended social and business activities into the evening hours. Cleveland's successful adoption of electric lighting inspired other cities across the country and the world to follow suit, accelerating the spread of electricity in modern infrastructure. This moment helped kickstart the electrification of public spaces, paving the way for the bustling, well-lit cities we enjoy today. We are now closer to last part, but here is number nine. The human body conducts electricity. The human body is actually a good conductor of electricity because it contains water and electrolytes that help electric currents flow. This property is the reason why many medical devices rely on electricity to monitor and support our health. For example, an electrocardiogram, ECG, measures the tiny electrical signals generated by the heart as it beats, helping doctors understand heart health and detect irregularities. Similarly, a defibrillator delivers controlled electric pulses to the heart to restore a normal heartbeat. During dangerous arrhythmias or cardiac arrest, these medical technologies show how the body's natural electrical activity can be measured and even influenced to save lives. Understanding electricity in the human body has been a crucial breakthrough in modern medicine. Ten and the last is the electricity can't be stored directly. Electricity itself cannot be stored directly because it is a flow of electric charge, not a substance or object that can be kept in one place. Instead, to store electrical energy, it must first be converted into other forms. One common method is converting electricity into chemical energy inside batteries, where it is stored until it's needed and then converted back into electrical energy. Another way is converting electricity into kinetic energy using devices, like flywheels which store energy by spinning at high speeds and release it when needed. Other technologies include pumped hydro storage, where water is pumped uphill using electricity and released to generate power later. These storage methods are crucial for balancing energy supply and demand, especially with renewable sources like solar and wind that produce electricity intermittently. Understanding these conversions is key to making electricity more reliable and efficient for everyday use. 
thanks for joining me on this electrifying journey through some amazing facts about electricity. I hope you learned something new and got inspired by the incredible power that lights up our world every day. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Stay curious, stay bright, and see you next time.